we've kind of got a degree of control over this thing I'm not too sure, as you can see it's uh, varying and what we've got now is we've got the scope in place so we can see that as we move it the waveform changes and that's the DC obviously it's rectified and we have voltage if I can get it to show there we go, see so it varies the voltage so I can make it so that it's only just on and you'll see the waveform come in as it does it uh, there you go so the light is dim-ish see, full brightness dim ok so I can control it and the voltage so that's dim and we've got about 60 and we can vary it up to 200 volts uh -huh. waveform oh, full 200 hey. now then if I alter the sweep so it's lower and then we can see the waveform change see it's based on triggering level ok now we've got <laughs> a few components put in and what effectively I'm doing is I'm putting the supply across um, some resistors, I'm going to turn this off because things are getting hot we've got a resistor here which is, oh yes, it's cold this one, that one's warm because the this is dissipating the current through that resistor into there this, sorry, I'm not even pointing that, this is like I've called this the positive side, it isn't, it's just to think of it in DC, it's AC coming from the mains it goes through this resistor into the, uh, where's it at? ok, it, yeah, there you go, see, it's joined some resistor, because it had something else in there which goes into the pot, ok, on one side and this is the gate that comes off, that goes to the gate ok and then we have the output, the other side of the pot going to through a resistor, which is a 10k, okay, through to uh, the kind of negative, it's not, okay, but the other side, this is MT1, which is the one that you're getting against, okay, and then it goes back to the supply. So this pot basically has two resistors either side of it, one, two and it's feeding current into the gate. Now the missing bit I guess is that, is that we need a resistor in line here so we can restrict the current going into the gate because it's frying this. Okay, and probably the pot as well. Uh, but it does give us the control we want so... and it's stable, it's not flickering which is the trick is to make the voltage stable and that's because we're actually gating directly from the supply rather than from the... across the actual triac which is normally how uh, a standard dimmer works, it gates across its own terminals because it's in series with the load whereas we've actually got the gate circuit in parallel with the load so it gives us a better control anyway, that's it, there we go